Well, hello everyone. This is Byron King with Investor Intel. Uh, we have Terry Lynch of Power Nickel with us. Good, uh, good day, Terry. Terry, you have a company that's uh, exploring for uh, nickel in Quebec. Uh, what is going on? You have a you had a terrific press release not too long ago. What's what? What'd you find? Yeah, we you know I, uh, one of the hottest nickel holes in, in the last uh, year anywhere in the world. Uh, Forty meters of basically you know I think around one point six percent nickel EQ. That's a you know fantastic uh, number, and uh, it's, it's a follow up of some other successful holes we've had, and and you know we're having great luck really with uh, with our NISC uh, project, and we we think we're very shortly going to show the world it's a commercial mine in waiting, and uh, could be a big one. So we're we're super pumped about what's going on there. Okay, you're in you're in Quebec. Are you near? Uh, t- tell us about the. Can you get there yeah. about roads and airline, yeah, airlines yeah, fan- and whatever? yeah, yeah. It, it's fantastic. Really, it's one of the easiest projects I've ever seen in the world to get to. It's off uh, Route North, so it's a literally a four lane highway to the to the site. We're right across the road from Major Hydro Quebec substation, so it's obviously going to be maintained and <laughs> looked after. And uh, we're about seven eight kilometers away from the Namasku Airport. In the village of Namaskou, and uh, where the uh, Namaskou lithium is, uh, you know, just uh, uh, commercializing its plant. So a lot of uh, operating mines in the region. Uh, very big community support for mining there, and uh, yeah, it's an excellent place to be doing business. Well, that's that was the next question in terms of you know where you are in the First Nations issues uh, uh, and community support. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so the Cree are our, our, our Aboriginal partner, and they're a fantastic one. They're we basically all of our drill crews stay at a Cree resort. It's uh, as drill crews go, and where I've drilled in you know places in the, you know, the in the mountains, and guys are in camps, and this is like this is luxury. So yeah, we, we partner a lot with uh, with our local Aboriginal partner, and they they bring a lot to the table, and they've got a great uh, you know perspective on mining. They they're fully supportive, so we're uh, we're very lucky to have them uh, on board. Okay, so Power Nickel, tell us a little bit about the company in terms of, uh, of, of share structure, cash in the bank, burn rate, things yeah, like that. Yeah, so so we about 120 million shares outstanding. We just raised uh, 4.2 million dollars at the end of November, and that's basically to fund this ongoing program. We're drilling about 15,000 meters in total. Uh, we're, we've released uh, four, I guess, five uh, assays so far. Um, another another nine to come, and then we're starting drilling again next week. So we'll have another, you know, 15 holes of, so like probably the next, every three or four weeks for the next six months, there'll be updated assays on NISC as we sort of advance the commercialization of the project. Our, our objective is we had a historical resource of uh, 3.1 million tons. Uh, and our objective is to update our commercial uh, 43101 end of uh, June, early July, complete, complete with a new metallurgical uh, assessment. And at that time, we'd expect to, to get into the commercial range, which would be, in our view, you'd, you'd have to have at least eight to ten million tons to be commercial. We we expect we can uh, we can get there uh, in that time frame. Okay, so viewers out there who are watching, they 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 can walk away or go away thinking that you have a winter program. You're going to be ongoing drilling, and you're going to have ongoing news releases from this area where you have just uh, found one of the best drill holes in uh, quite a long time uh in terms of nickel as and is that a fair expectation for viewers yeah. out there watching absolutely yeah for sure so uh, and i think you know it's interesting to look at you know the other you know what would you like to be when you grow up it'd be you know talon metals is a uh, uh probably going to be the next nickel mine in north america that's in minnesota the uh, u.s department of defense just gave them 150 million dollars to advance their project to, to completion and that deposit is worth about somewhere 500, 600 million right now. So they're, you know, I think a little over 11 million tons of about, you know, closer to, you know, 1.8, 2% nickel. So a further ahead than we are, but we expect we'll get fairly close to that in, in six months. So shows you what these things can be worth. And and uh, we think they're, I mean, Talon Metals is a buy right now. It, 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 the price is still undervalued. So, mm-hmm. so there's, uh, and our market cap is, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 million US, something in that range. So oh, yeah, we're a long- right. Yeah we're, yeah, we're a long, long ways to go. So, so a lot of, uh, if you believe in a, in our drill program and how uh, we're executing and getting successful, if you believe we're going to get commercial, then there's probably you know significant investment opportunity there, and we obviously believe that. Okay, so if Talon is a benchmark, you are undervalued compared to 
uh, this, that, 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 that benchmark is out of Yeah, and we, and, and we, we, you know, there's probably four or five other, you know, commercial mm-hmm. uh, nickel uh, exploration companies. And we look at those, they range sort of, I would say, from 150 million to 500 million US. Mm-hmm. So I would say if you get commercial, that's where you should be. Or today, as you say, we're, we're 18. So if you believe we're going to get there, then there's going to be a re-rating at some point in time. And there's plenty of demand out there. I mean, people should not be confused by the idea that there's a lot of people exploring for nickel. Uh, you, you, in other discussions that we've had, you've, there, there is terrific demand for metal for nickel out there, both as stainless steel and certainly in the battery space. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, for sure. And, and because we're class one nickel or would produce a class one nickel product uh, in North America, you know, thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act, there's even more demand for North American nickel. So we, we have literally uh, every nickel processing company and uh, all the big trading companies are all very uh, interested in the uh, power nickel uh, uh, potential project because uh, it could be another support source of North American nickel. And there's, that's going to be one of the very pretty uh, ladies at the ball. Uh, you know, it really would be a, a phenomenal, uh, uh, I can't think of a better metal to be in right now than North American nickel. And, and, for people who are watching who might not be aware of this, I mean, it, you know, Canadian nickel is treated the same as U.S. nickel in terms of a North American free trade uh, matter and uh, in terms of you know, defense requirements and the automotive industry. And like you mentioned, the Inflation Reduction Act, which doesn't have a lot to do with inflation, but does have a lot to do with, you know, developing, uh, reshoring, onshoring, whatever, uh, yes. uh, uh, you know, major projects to North America. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so, well, people out there, uh, Power Nickel, it's on the TSX Venture. It's on the uh, U.S. OTC markets. Uh, they have a website. They have a presentation. Uh, they have investor contact. Uh, Power Nickel and Terry Lynch, thank you, sir. Great to be with you, Byron. Good talking to you again. Cheers. Thank you.